the mid-2000s, the internet rap community was unsatisfied with hip-hop genre. It was a time where Nas the Rapper felt like coming out saying hip-hop was dead. Jermaine Lamar Cole, also known as J. Cole, rapper and producer, rose and brought his hip-hop game to the field to show people how he resurrected the hip-hop genre. People wanted no auto-tune and no generic songs about girls and drugs. They wanted the real deal. They wanted art, a real meaning behind a verse. A verse that gives you goosebumps along with the real beat. J. Cole is a real artist. He came from something to something even bigger. He went to high school, graduated from St. John's University as a communications major with a magna cum laude. You don't hear much rappers or singers these days with a degree of any form. Just the story of coming from nothing to the rap game. People were pretty surprised, and so he became a jewel to many. He raps, a, he raps about honesty, friendship, real-life problems, and humanity. J. Cole is one of the odds to people because he cares more about his fans than the latter to success. On November 27th of this year, J. Cole will be performing on stage in Abu Dhabi, and the best part is for both fans and J. Cole is that it's free. This brings more people to the scene, and with J. Cole's artistic verses, he gains more fans. It's a win-win free concert. Another positive I want to bring down onto the table is how he owns up to his mistakes. Yes, he does. He doesn't shy away from the camera, and he doesn't push paparazzi down. He goes to the cameras himself and tells the world how he is sorry he screwed up. It's me getting started. I'm artistic. You niggas is artistic. Retarded. Started. Hold your applause. When J. Cole found out, he immediately made an appearance to apologize. Because of that, I really wanted to, to give a real apology. So what I did was I wrote a very sincere letter. I don't I think a tweet. We're in a day and age where like you can tweet out, oh, I apologize for this line, and that's enough. But I didn't think that was enough. So I wrote an apology for that, um, which was well received. I'm glad. He is an overnight success. This is Hanan Skandarani reporting for 360 News. Thank you for watching.